Today, we're talking Logic Pro Tools and which one might save you literal hours during your mix. This is my favorite tool to use, so stick around. Hello, everybody. My name is Dylan Pines with Musician on a Mission, and I'm here with another mix tutorial for you. Today, we're going to be talking about my favorite tool in Logic Pro. It's something that's a bit of a secret to new users, but even to intermediate users, it's something that I do in every mix, and it's gonna save you tons of time. But before we get into it, I wanna let you know we're giving away a free bonus today. We are giving away our free Logic Pro Key Commands Cheat Sheet. There's 39 different essential key commands, keyboard shortcuts that are on this cheat sheet. This is something that I use whenever I'm trying to work on getting my workflow even faster. So if that's something that interests you, just click the link on screen or down in the description below and you'll get your own free access. I really think you're gonna enjoy it. So let's talk about this tool. What we're gonna be talking about is the marquee tool. And like I said, it's something that tons of my students don't even know exist. So let me show you an example. I've got a mix on screen that I still need to do some volume automation for. I'm just gonna hit play, let you listen to it, and then I'll show you exactly what the marquee tool can do. Pretty cool sound, right? There's still some volume automation that I need to do. Like for example, in the solo, I really want the drums to feel just a little bit bigger. I feel like the rhythm electric guitar needs to kind of get out of the way some. There's just some extra stuff that I need to do. So usually what I would do, I go click on my drum bus, I'd go open up my automation lane. And you know, I would go in here, I'd add two little automation buttons right here, you know, a little automation knob right here, and then I would turn this up or down. You know, it, it takes about 10 seconds, but when you multiply that by hundreds and hundreds of little volume adjustments, it can take forever. So let me show you what the marquee tool can do. I'm just gonna hold down command and swipe. That's all I'm gonna do. Hold command, you can see this little plus just came up, and I'm gonna swipe, and I'm gonna click. And it looks like I just made two little knobs right there, but if I click on this and move it, check that out. I now have a fully editable section of my automation. And I did it in two seconds. In fact, I could do it even faster than that. Let's say I wanted just this bit right before the solo to get turned up. Just hold down command, grab it, click. There it is. I can move it up, can move it down. Fully editable. I can even get rid of it, can click on it again and we're good to go. It speeds up your automation by a thousand percent. In fact, before I discovered this tool, I dreaded doing any kind of volume automation, any kind of automation at all. I hated it. But once I discovered the marquee tool, you could just get it done so much faster that I knew that I was going to be able to get the volume balance that I needed, something that was going to make the mix sound professional. So. Just to kind of clarify what the marquee tool does, and let me actually take it out of automation here. What it does is it splits any selection into its own editable region, we'll call it. And when I say region, I, I mean literally. I can go in here, I can select something on the actual track, and if I click it, I get my own individual region. If I wasn't trying to use my marquee tool, I'd have to go over here, I'd have to click on the region, I'd have to split it by the playhead, I'd have to take this over here, I'd have to get it lined up, I'd have to split it by the playhead, and there I have it. Takes a long time. But with the marquee tool, there to there, click, you're done. So, so easy. So I obviously use it the most for those two things, for automation and for creating new regions, but there's one other use that I feel like goes kind of uh, it's not talked about very often in the logic world. It's something that I love to do, which is to set the loop 
by a custom amount. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's say I really want to uh, I want to loop the tag. Well, what I can do is I can hold down Command, I can select the tag right here, and I'm going to hit Command U, and check out what just happened. If I hold down Command U, basically anything that I've selected with my marquee tool gets looped. The whole session gets looped. So maybe I just want to loop this final six beats. Well, I grab that with my marquee tool, hit Command U, and it's there, and it's looping. So between those three uses, this is my most used tool in any mix session by far. So that about wraps it up. It was just a quick little tip to give you a little bit of extra work with your workflow. Now, before you head out, don't forget to download that free cheat sheet that covers all 39 of the most essential keyboard shortcuts for Logic Pro. It's something that I really think is gonna be helpful for you as you're trying to speed up your workflow, especially now that you understand the Marquee tool. Just click the link on screen or down in the description below to get your own free access. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We make tips and tricks just like this one on this channel every single week. We'd love to help you grow. So that's gonna be it for me. This has been Dylan Pines with Musician on a Mission. And remember, create regardless. <laughs>